Today is victory in Europe day. Britain destroyed the genius who defeated Hitler, destroyed him quietly, legally. His name was Alan Turing. In a grand neo-Gothic mansion of Bletchley Park, one of the most secret operations of the Second World War was taking place. A team of mathematicians, linguists, chess players, and crypt analysts led by Alan Turing tried to crack the code used by German army. The Nazis used the Enigma, a cipher machine that changed its code every day, generating millions of possible combinations. They transmitted submarine coordinates, orders to tank divisions, and the details of military offensives. The code was reset every morning. Turing realized the only way to fight a machine was with the help of another machine. He managed to create a device that could sift through the possibilities at a speed no human could match. Each day with the code meant a chance to locate the submarine before it sank a ship, to intercept an air raid before bombs fell on London. Each day of delay cost hundreds, sometimes thousands of lives. Thanks to Turing, the Allies discovered time and location of many German attacks and possibly shortened the war by a full two years. Millions of people survived, thanks to a mathematician who hated disorder, forgot his umbrella on rainy days, and spoke to machines as if they were alive. In 1952, Turing went to the police to report a burglary. A man connected to his male lover had broken into his flat. Turing had to explain the nature of their relationship, and in the eyes of the law, he became a criminal. Under the law on gross indecency, homosexuality was a criminal offense. In 1895, Oscar Wilde had been convicted under the same law. More than half a century had passed and nothing had changed. A person caught in a same-sex relationship could be sent to prison or undergo what was called treatment, weekly injections of synthetic estrogen. Turing chose the injections. His body began to change. He became impotent. His breasts began to grow. He could no longer work. He fell into despair. Two years after his sentencing, in 1954, Alan Turing was found dead in his bedroom. The official verdict was suicide. In 2009, a British programmer collected 30,000 signatures on a petition demanding an apology to Turing. Only then did Prime Minister Gordon Brown say what should have been said in Turing's lifetime. He apologized and called Turing's treatment a Pausing.